Water fluoridation. With everything going on lately, what's my opinion? Y'all have been asking, so let's talk. First off, my opinion always follows the science and the data. And the science and the data show that water fluoridation initiatives are incredibly important for public health. And in my opinion, there's something huge that doesn't get talked about enough when it comes to this topic. So if you've been following along on this issue, you already know that fluoride naturally occurs in water in many areas. And when we're talking about water fluoridation programs, they're not just adding fluoride to water. Because in areas where the fluoride levels are naturally too high, these programs also reduce it. The goal is to maintain fluoride at an optimal level for dental health and overall health, which is 0.7 parts per million. Adding it and reducing it to maintain optimal safe levels. That's what water fluoridation programs do. On that same note, when we look at studies that suggest toxic effects of fluoride or the low IQ in fluoride, those studies are all testing water sources that have more than double the optimal amount Amount, way more than 0.7 ppm. And since we all know that everything can be toxic at a certain dose, even the oxygen and the air we breathe, even the spinach that we eat, we aren't concerned about toxicity of those since we are not exposed to those high levels that would cause toxicity. Same thing with fluoride. When studies are using more than double the amount, they are not representative of our optimal levels found in water fluoridation programs. Also, these IQ studies, there's correlation without causation happening due to other factors such as lead that kids were exposed to, which were not being considered. Saying blanket statements like fluoride is toxic in water or leads to low IQ is misleading and unscientific. Overall, removing optimal levels of fluoride, the safe levels of fluoride in water, is certainly going to affect low-income communities, our most vulnerable populations the most. Children's teeth who rely on these public health initiatives will be hit the hardest. We know this from data. We're not just guessing. We know this from areas that have removed fluoride and are now adding it back in because of the devastating results. Anyway, I hope this video helps someone and doesn't cause more arguments. I think it's important for us all to just listen to one another about our concerns. We don't have to yell at each other. Let's try to just understand each other and try to understand both sides. I understand the concern of toxicity, but we are not exposed to anywhere near the amount needed to cause toxic effects. If you want to read and learn more, I've included all the references and research that I showed in this video in the description box of my full-length video on YouTube. Just type water fluoride teeth talk girl and it'll pop right up. Just remember that we're all human. We're all a community. So please be as compassionate and as empathetic as possible when discussing this issue in the comments section and in life. We all just want to be healthy. I know we can all agree on that. Thank you for listening.